What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the stake pocket tie down anchor. So if you guys have a flatbed trailer like you see here, or even if you guys have a flatbed truck, these are going to be great just to put in those little stake pockets to give you guys a nice D ring tie down point. So very easy to install. Pull the pin, pull this out, and then we're just going to slide it right down in there. And then we can go ahead and just fish this through and then put our pin back in just like that. And that thing isn't going anywhere. It does have a working load limit of 4,000 pounds and that's plenty for what we need here today. So I'm going to go ahead and strap this tractor up. What I'm actually going to do is just Go ahead and pull it all the way around because the pocket itself is big enough to fit two of these hooks. So we have both of them down there. Pull them up. Done deal. A lot of the times when I'm strapping down stuff, I really can't decide where to put the hook. I really don't want to put it around something on my tractor because usually it's associated with some steering linkage or anything like that or any hydraulic lines we want to stay away from that with this you can go ahead and tie them on down there so you don't really have to think about where you're going to tie them down just go in your stake pockets and it solves the issue the stake pocket is going to be made of steel and it is going to have a powder coated finish so it's going to look good but also resist against that rust and corrosion over time i didn't have any issues getting these hooks all the way around this D-ring here. We do have an inner diameter of about two and a quarter inches. And with all that construction made of steel and everything like that, we are gonna have a brake strength of about 12,000 pounds. Just as easy to take it out as it is to put it in. So let's go ahead and do that. Done deal. So this is pretty much everything that you guys get when you buy the stake pocket. So let's just go ahead and go over some dimensions here. We mentioned that the inner diameter of the D-ring here is going to be about two and a quarter inches. And then from just this top section here all the way down to the bottom, it's going to be about five and three eighths inches. The top little section here, we are going to have about an inch and three quarters of width and we're going to have about four and a half inches of length. We are going to have a five eighths inch hole and that is the pin that we get with the kit which is nice. The distance between the top of this hole and the bottom of this top plate here is going to be about three and a quarter inches. So that's something that we need to take into account whenever you guys are looking at your guys' stake pockets. So obviously we're gonna have to be able to put it down through and have enough of space to be able to put this pin in. But pretty easy and simple product, but honestly it is going to solve a lot of your guys' problems just because it's gonna give you a beautiful little spot to strap down your stuff. Other than that, that's pretty much it for a look at the stake pocket anchor tie-down point, and I'm Adam with eTrailer. 